Good morning, my name is Wendy Castro. I work at Health South Rehab Hospital in Littleton and I am a physical therapist assistant. I use technology with my stroke patients in a variety of ways, not just therapeutically, but functionally also, to aid them anywhere from being able to get up out of bed in the morning, to be able to get up and go to the bathroom, and to be able to walk. We have a light gate, which is a body weight support system. The body weight system will keep them suspended without the fear of them falling and then being able to walk if they have that capability or we can also incorporate the bioness that will actually aid with the facilitation of stepping if they're not able to do it on their own. I use technology on a daily basis with my stroke patients for a variety of reasons depending on what their deficits are. I use it in conjunction with functional activities, for example, electrical stimulation to help facilitate hand movement. We'll work on balance, so we have a piece of equipment that's a balance master and it kind of gives them more of an input. If they're losing their balance one way, it'll kind of allow them to give a better response. We also have a piece of equipment called the DynaVision. If a person has, say, a neglect on one side of their body, it will allow them to scan and visualize and incorporate that into their recovery. Well, it's important for family members and caregivers to be present during the therapies and also understand what an individual is capable of doing. And then that way they also know how much assistance they're going to need to give that person. Um, they also need to know how to manage the equipment. What we would recommend as far as the coverage goes for this type of equipment is that they would want to talk to their primary care physician. The more the high-tech pieces of equipment that we've discussed is really more in a clinical setting. If they continue the therapies outpatient, they can talk to their outpatient locations and therapists. You know, as far as insurance goes, it's more on a case-by-case -case basis. Each individual would need to check into the insurance that they have. If a person wants to go ahead and get technology, for their home. In therapy, we also do the WE, which works on coordination, eye-hand coordination, sequencing, balance. Um, it can do all of those things which they need to be able to have in order to function at home. Therapists are really good about asking for different resources. My name is Liz Stoddard. I'm an occupational therapist at Health South Rehab Hospital of Littleton. For activities of daily living, there are programs for maybe somebody is affected cognitively from their stroke. Maybe they need some reminders for managing their medication or some kind of alarm set for doing their activities of daily living for daily reminders of when they should be doing what. Maybe they have some short-term memory loss. A lot of the app stuff is free for the cognitive aspect for activities of daily living. The best way to gain any access is to search online and to find resources when you leave a hospital to find outpatient programs that have other therapists that can give you their resources to ask what technologies they have that maybe you can benefit from.